Hi guys. I tried to make a video for the past two, three days. Ended up losing footage and I don't know what happened to the rest of it. I couldn't even tell you. So I've had such a crazy couple of days. I'm back at work. My vacation was over on um, Friday. I worked from home Monday. I went back in the office today, which is Tuesday. And I ran for my for my vacation, which was during the time of my birthday. I ran errands, like everything that could possibly come to mind for me to do. Y'all excuse me if I see any white powder on me. I just got done doing my nails. Still not ready to show you how I did them, but until I get a little better, because I still have a little bit of issues. Um, ran errands as if I was not on vacation. Um, I did do well. I do that all the time. So, but yeah, just, I didn't do anything spectacular except run the road, which is not, which is normal for me. I, for my birthday, I, I generally don't do anything. I've never been on a vacation in my life. So I've always had to do something. I always had something going on, but you know, it is what it is. Um, so a lot has been going on. Um, let me see. I went thrifting, got a bunch of different items to upcycle so I can continue sewing. I am looking for a camouflage, a flower with a bunch of dresses, and some white high top shoes. And that'll bring me to the end of the things that I'm looking for. Um, so I did do a little bit of thrifting. I'll do a little haul eventually. Um, got a laptop so I can edit my videos on. But I got to figure out how to upload the videos from my phone, my Android phone, to the, um, well, it's a Chromebook. I didn't know they were two different things. So, yeah. So I have a Chromebook. And I did see where there were some people on YouTube that have Chromebooks that upload their videos through Kind Master, Keen Master, and that's what I use to um, do my recording and edit my stuff off. And I do it on my phone, but I needed something to do it on, like a device. So I got to figure that out. Um, car. Um, the guy, the car, the other car I wanted to buy, he, um said that it needs a transmission they're having a hard time finding it and he's gonna want ten thousand dollars for that car don't know if i'm gonna get that and then my current car that i have the engine light came on and i had no idea your engine light can come on for the smallest thing even if you don't have your gas cap on tight that's new news to me sorry i'm looking in the mirror so yes i need a radiator it's over five hundred dollars to get it done it's a three-hour job i don't know what their hourly rate is as far as labor but yeah so Friday when I work from home, I have to drop my car off to at 7.30. And so he'll have it for the rest of the day. I was trying to take care of some things, but it's not happening. And I know setbacks happen. Um, I did do, I'm a, I'll show the haul. So I did order some more stuff because I do want to start doing my nails, which, you know, I learned off of YouTube University. So that's a good thing. Um, what else is going on? Nothing really else going on. Y'all, to be honest with y'all, like, I really don't do anything. You know, I started sewing because I've always had a creative mind, thank God for that, but I didn't do anything with it. And now, like, everything I know how to do, oh, I, I never thought I could do, now I can do it. So it's like, I just work and come home. I'm going to stay out of these thrifting stores because today I went in there and bought something today that, I was shocked, but you know, I love the little thrift store I go to because I paid every bit of $3 for those items and I was so freaking happy. So it's a part of my upcycle, something I am working on slowly, but it is going to be beautiful when I get done. And I try to Google the stuff that I'm thinking about working on, not to get ideas to see if someone has already put it out there. And um, it is like, it's going to be nice. I just gotta, I don't know. I, I, I don't like getting inspiration because I feel like I'm copying and like I would like to be original with stuff. And that's just me. Now, every now and then I might copy stuff. I'm not gonna say I'm never gonna copy, but I just, you know, I just like to be original every now and then. But you know, this is gonna be a slow process with me. Um, what else? I think after the holiday, I'm gonna get a part time job for a year. And the reason why I said after the holidays is because 
like our Christmas, we're going to be off for four days for Christmas, for the week of Christmas. So we're going to, we got that, what is it, how are we doing this? Saturday, Sunday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, Tuesday. Yeah, for four days. And I am ready for it. I don't want to be stuck on nobody's doggone job at all. So, how do I do that? I'm trying to consolidate some stuff, some little stuff that I got. But I'm still on board um, with paying off debt. I know it may not seem like it, but I am. This car is definitely going to be a setback. I did not expect to have to deal with this, but I used to get frustrated and cry over setbacks, but it's a part of life. It seems like whenever you get on track or you got something planned or you got something to do, something happens. So, you know, I just now I'll be like, okay. It's a setback. And what generally happens is you take care of the setback, get back on board, and you be right back to where you were. That's it. That's all I mean. That's all you can do. There's nothing else you could possibly do. I am painting my freaking fingernails. My hands look, oof. And I forgot I have to sit here and wait for them to, I'm about to say cool down, wait for them to um, dry. It's supposed to be a fast gel, so we'll see how fast it is but yeah so and i did tell you it was like five something he said i hope i don't know that's the bad thing about getting a used car you don't know what's wrong with it you don't know that what's about to happen is going to happen because it showed no signs so but there is some other stuff i gotta get like i have to get the um water pump i actually had the water pump and the antifreeze so i'll just be paying for labor and that's three something and i was gonna start setting money aside for that so i gotta push that back and then oh let me tell y'all something so i mentioned in another video that i want to get a compact wash and dryer because the laundromat i go to the guy is turning down the heat and i've been saying this and i went to wash clothes uh monday morning before I had to log in and say good morning. And there's a guy and, and a lady. And the lady's a regular every Monday. She comes in, do her small load, and she's out. And there's a guy that comes in. And they were talking. And just as I was saying to myself, you know, I wanted to ask her if she noticed that she has to put more money in the dryer, the conversation popped up between them two. She said, see, like you got to keep putting more quarters and more quarters. And by the time you get done, you're paying $3. I said, you noticed that too? And I said, yeah, I said, she said, yeah, and I said, yeah, they turned down the heat. She said, I know. So <clears throat> when they turn down the heat, you got to put more money to keep it going so your clothes can dry. Not only that, and I know she didn't notice this, but I caught it. The smallest washing machines used to be 250 When I went in to wash my thrifted items, and I had to go back because I forgot I had the material for my chair. I'll tell you about the chair in a minute. <clears throat> I was like, hold on, this needs to be 250 So, yeah, that's a money pit for him. That's just... Money, he could care less about that place. I remember him. He has a te he has a um a, a a thing where you can contact him, um, to let him know if there's something going on or something happened and need help or whatever. Because I noticed his machines are breaking down; <clears throat> they're barely getting fixed. And one day there was glass all over the floor. Now, I texted him because he has a number available in case of emergencies. He never replied back, so that's when I noticed it's a lot going on. <clears throat> Excuse me, so he could care less. It's it's just a it's a money pit for him, just extra money. He's a works with his dad. His dad hooked him up, and he got all these jobs and making all this money. You know how I go. So yeah, so that that pisses me off. But I'm gonna have to go ahead and bite the bullet and buy a washer, a compact washer. And I did get on YouTube today, and I did um watch different videos. And there's two girls' videos, two ladies' that videos that I watched. One is in Atlanta, one is in New York, New York. I don't know what's going on with my sciences right now. Excuse me, y'all. I don't know what's going on. So I know <clears throat> what I need as far as like the hooker for the hot and cold water. And the size of the washer is what's getting me. I want to get a 2.0, which is a really good size. <clears throat> I'm sorry, guys. Out of the blue, my sciences to start to drain. This, out of the blue, my sciences decided to start draining. And it is coming through. Anyway. So I wanted to get the 2.0, but they're wanting like 
almost four hundred dollars for it. And my max was three hundred, three fifty. But my thing is, listening to them, I'm trying to. I think listening to them, I'm trying to figure out how much I could put in there. I never will pack a washing machine ever because your clothes will not dry. You know, and then I want I want it to be I want my clothes to be wet. So I won't do that. Um, but I want to know what they're putting in their washing machine because then they give me an idea of what I can put on. Now, I will wash clothes weekly, which is very little. It's like a, not even a full hamper, you know. Now I'm not gonna say I never go back to the laundromat because when it's time for me to wash my comforters or my pillows or my bed. Yeah, I'm going to go and get that done because, you know, surprisingly, there are people in the world that don't know that you can wash your um your bed pillows. And then you got some, I don't think they wash them at all. They just keep replacing them. You know, teachers don't. Ain't no judgment here, but I'm washing mine because I don't have it like that. So, um, yeah. So I would definitely go and wash those, but it would be during a time where it's going to be like, okay, everything going one big washer. And then he has these big, gigantic um, dryers. But, like, by the time you put a quarter in, you got to put in a dollar just to probably get, let me see. Yeah, you, you put in a dollar, you're going to pay. You're going to only get, like, 15 minutes. So, yeah, it's a, it's a it's a straight rip off. But I know, I don't think nobody noticed it because they're so used to going in. You know, he's there and talking and chit-chatting and having a good time. But... They're so used to him being nice and talking and stuff that they're not realizing that. And I didn't realize it either until I was like, okay, I can't keep doing this. Because why am I paying? All right, so my clothes, I wash my heavy and my lights. Um, No, I wash my, um, I dry my heavy and my lights separately. So you put less money inside the dryer that has the lighter clothes. Not when that heat is low. I have to put almost... A dollar seventy-five, a dollar fifty. I, I remember putting in like a dollar fifty, one seventy-five, and the clothes were still down. And I was like, I can't keep doing this. And I've been noticed this. Like I've been noticed this. I noticed this months ago. So yeah, I got to go ahead and just, unfortunately, just just when I have setbacks like this, I might as well just go ahead and put everything out there and be like, okay, let me just go ahead and do this, get this while I'm doing this, and be done with it, so we'll see how everything works out. Um, dang it, I was going to say something. <clears throat> I'm trying to remember what it was. Wash and dryer. My nails, the freaking <clears throat> brake light. And, oh, there's a storm out there in Florida. Or is it in Georgia? That storm that's heading. I don't know which way it's heading. I hadn't been watching the news. But I know they're thinking about closing down the schools here. By I think Friday. But you know. Every time the storm comes. Bread and water and milk. It's the first thing to leave the shelves. I'm not going to talk too much about it. Because my house. I ain't got much of nothing inside here. Because I'm trying to get rid of. A lot of unnecessary food. That has really messed up my health. But I can't blame the food because I was the one who went to the store and got it. But I am going to go to the store because tonight I wanted some hot dogs. So I'm going to get hot dogs and buns um, tomorrow. If I remember. I don't know. I'll probably go first thing in the morning. Ah, I don't want that on there. First thing in the morning because I don't know how the stores will be looking. Because whenever they say storm or water or whatever is coming this way. They shut it down and people get to the stores and they buy out everything. And a lot of times the storms don't even hit. But, you know, that's just what they do. So, I'm not going to complain and let them do what they want to do. Alright, so I got I got polish under my nails. So I got them painted, so I'm about to design them <clears throat> via what I saw on um, YouTube. So just to give you a sneak peek, I don't know which one I want to do. Am I, you know what? I'm not going to do all the fingers. I'm going to just find a dominant finger. Two dominant fingers to do. Quit touching stuff. Okay. So I don't know if I want to do this one. 
I don't know if you guys can see it. That one. Well, I don't know if I want to do <clears throat> this one look a hot mess, but you got the idea. Or that one. So I'll probably do that one. That one was easier to do. So <clears throat> I'm about to and this right here, this art deco, this came from Dollar Tree. Um, if you ever do designs, it's real watery, it's not as thick. And this is, I don't know where this is. This is <clears throat> Maybelline Fast Gel Nail Liquor. I don't know where I got it from. But it's not the actual gel polish. I actually ordered some real gel polish. So I may have got that from the Dollar Tree. I don't know. So let me go ahead and finish these designs. I'm already been for 15 minutes, and I'll be back on shortly. <clears throat> so I am back, and I'm about to go to bed. I have been... Well, I didn't expect to do my nails. I really did not. I've been doing my nails for some time. I had a nice design going on on how I was going to do it, but when you don't have the proper thing, it don't seem to have worked out. So so right now, I don't have cuticle oil. I'm using pure shea butter I got. So that's what I'm putting on my hand and trying to drill into my cuticles. I need to get cuticle oil, but I don't know what oil, what which one is the best one. I did see some DIY cuticle oil, but yeah, the weather's changing, so I probably won't need to invest in that. I probably just need to drink a whole lot of water like I'm doing, but some more, and just keep my hand moisturized. I got moisturizing lotions, so I mean, I don't have an excuse. It's off my wrist. I miss having long nails. I remember getting my nails done, and my actual nail was really long. People used to look at me like I was a weirdo, and I could not stand that. But I started off short, and I let them grow. So as they grow slowly, you get used to them. All right, so I'm done. And let me show you the finished look. Okay. These are what they look like. I was going to do, like, um, you know, um dominant finger thing but I, I was like bumping let me just do this so that's the wildlife look <laughs> it looked better on these I guess because they're longer but yeah so when I do them again I am definitely going to add some I don't know I don't know if I want to add bling or if I want to do like the um mm, scalp itching or do like the um the um glitters and stuff tomorrow is wednesday um i'm hoping the weather be okay yeah but until next time have a great one good night i'm going to lay down